Today's pet advice segment is sponsored by University Veterinary Care Center. This morning, we welcome Dr. Travis Gratton with University Veterinary Care Center. Dr. Gratton, good morning. Good morning. Well, we're continuing our conversation on deaf pets. Now, our viewers may recall last time, Dr. Ut was here with Annie, sweet little Annie, um, and she was showing us how she communicates with her deaf dog. So let's talk more about the testing for hearing on animals in that process. Yeah, it's a little more limited in, in veterinary medicine uh, than it is in humans. We, we don't, um, you know, ha have them tell us which frequencies and at what, you know, what level of, of right. sound they can hear so they don't raise their little paws when the left <laughs> ear or the right ear. Um, not as practical, we are more interested in can they hear. Um, and then you can look into why can't they potentially. Um, but the testing itself is called BAER, B-A-E-R, Brain Stem Auditory Evoked Response. And it's basically a little very simple um, EEG test where there's some electrodes applied on the skin um, on the head and then a little earphone that goes in and it does a repetitive little clicking noise and if there's an electrical stimulus made in the middle ear or sorry inner ear that goes into the nerves of the brain it produces a very typical waveform um, and you can see kind of where either it starts or where it stops or in the case of Annie it's kind of a little, just a little baseline um, flat line with no response um, and and you can test left ear, right ear, and see if they have hearing in one or the other, or neither, as in Annie's case. Well, and we have a couple photos of Annie getting her hearing tested. Um, so obviously this is for dogs. Does it work for other types of animals as well? It does. Um, cats certainly a little more reluctant to let you stick something in their yeah. ear that makes it <laughs> an annoying little click if they can hear. Um, the, the electrodes though certainly um, because it is just nerve impulses firing into the brain stem um, really can work on just about anything so it, it's very simple. It's actually the same testing that's done in newborn um, babies in, oh. in the hospital. Um, theirs is a little higher tech but it is essentially the same um, thing that is done on day one of, of infants. Very interesting. What, well what could be some of the different causes of deafness in a pet? Um, most of them are, or at least most of the ones we're, we're screening for, uh, tend to be the, uh, the breed-related genetic problems, and that tends to be the biggest category. Um, as uh, Dr. Utt said, if you, you know, have a dog and you live with it, you kind of know that it's deaf or it's losing its hearing as it ages. Um, we, we are usually looking at, um, you know, dogs who uh, are... Uh, puppies where we're screening them when they're relatively young before they go to their new homes um, out of breeding programs. Um, some rescue dogs where people may go, oh, I don't know if this one can hear. We can certainly test that and go, yes, can hear, can hear some, can hear in one ear, or no, we're deaf, and then the conversations of how we <laughs> deal uh, with living with those like Amanda covered last week. Any last final or any final thoughts on deafness in animals? If somebody maybe suspects that their their cat or dog might have a hearing problem, you know, kind of next steps, what they should do? Yeah, certainly it is a little limited in, in who does it, um, and so not every veterinarian um, does it. Uh, we do because we do a, a lot of um, high end breeders across the the Midwest, and my sister is actually an audiologist, so uh, she <laughs> did train us. Um, I should give a shout out to her. Um, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but um, seek it out. It, it is there, and even outside this area, um, it, there are neurologists and, and the referral centers uh, at some of the universities that do it as well. Okay, so. helpful information, Dr. Gratton. Thank you for being with us this morning. And if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.